Hey, this is Todd at Todd.Live. Welcome to the show. I'm going to talk today uh, about how to record your iPad screen in Wirecast. Let's go ahead and bring up Wirecast. Take a minute here on my computer to bring up Wirecast. Okay, so this is what you start with on Wirecast, but I'm going to work with a template that I've already made called Recording. We'll wait for that to come up. Okay, so what we have here is the screen. Let's see, let's get rid of this first one. Okay, so we have a Wirecast screen happening here. This is with my template. And there's a lot of things missing from the template, but let's see here. Let's go right into this where I'm down here at the bottom. Okay, so here we are. We just have me and Wirecast running right now. Okay, so um, what you want to do is, is you want to create a shot. So you create, push the little plus uh, symbol. This is the shot creation uh, button and I'm going to do capture devices and look my iPad's not showing up yet so I'm going to unplug and plug in probably going to get an iTunes iTunes will probably come right up they love to uh, have it come right up when you plug in which I don't want of course and let's get rid of that okay so let's see if iPad is a Robert's iPad click it and here comes the iPad. I'm going to add it to the shot. Add that shot to what's going on. It's auto live on my computer. I'm going to scale it. It's not giving me the whole iPad, is it? Or is it? It's kind of weird. It is giving me the entire iPad. I th oh, you know what? It's because it's sideways. Let me stand it straight up. That's what I'm accustomed to seeing. Okay, so... I can make it bigger, I can make it smaller, I can move it around, okay? Now, if I want to record what I'm doing on my iPad, I need to select the output settings to record to disk, and I'm going to do a MOV file. Select OK. Uh, I'm going to give it a name. We're just going to call it uh, test, okay? Give it a name, and boom. Oh, look, I play Angry Birds from time to time. Angry Birds 2. Okay, so there it is. So if I am not recording yet, but all I had to do was create a shot right here uh, and select the device. Remember, I went into the source device, but I, since I've already changed one, we can do it here. Capture devices. If I wanted to do it, it would be Robert's iPad. That's my first name. So Robert's iPad. That's what we did a minute ago. That's what gave us this. Then I use the shot layer properties to shrink it, whatever. Um, wish I would quit doing that. It needs to be on a tripod. Okay, so let's say I want to record what's going on on my screen. Boom. Because I set up the output to record, I am now recording an MOV file. So if I do anything on here, like let's go into my Snapchat. Okay, if I go into my Snapchat and I want to show you, let's say I want to do a tutorial on how to use Snapchat or whatever. Let's see, I can go in here and you're going to get the sound into your recording. Okay, you're going to hear that right now as you watch this YouTube video. But that comes through to your recording. So that's how you record. When you're finished, you go up to the record button and you hit push. You push it one time. And then if you want to see that you have a video, look at this right here, video, boom. There's my recording that I just made of my iPad in Wirecast. Look at this. Just like we did. Easy. Record your iPad in Wirecast. Very easy to do, my friends. Please subscribe, rate, review, leave a comment. Tell me if there's more you'd like to know. I really appreciate it. Visit my page, Todd.Live. Subscribe to the email list to get emails that are important to my community that have to do with live video, live streaming, video in general, marketing, being an entrepreneur, all that. I hope you guys subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hope you guys subscribe to my email list. Please, like I said, leave a message down below. Let me know what you think. Thumbs up. That helps my videos out. Take care, my friends.
Have fun and stay productive.